In this video, my co-host Pro Drifter, Saika Shimoda and I are going to continue our initial D-themed Gunma adventure by visiting Haruna Shrine to collect magical talismans and protection charms for our cars. It's like a real-life JDM RPG. Hey, I'm Albo. I came to Japan as an English teacher, then moved near Tokyo to pursue my passions. I became a filmmaker because I love cars, Japanese culture, and a good story. I'm lucky enough to live the JDM dream. And so my videos are about my car life in Japan, where I go to car meets and visit shops, do track days and toge runs, build and review cars, and shoot vlogs, short films, and documentaries about Japan's car culture and history. Join me and my friends on our adventures and find out what it's really like in the land of the rising sun. So hop in, fasten your seatbelts, and enjoy the ride. Quick thanks to you guys for ordering merch from my brand. We have the popular fleece line jackets and hoodies available, as well as other new products being added regularly. So make sure to check out the Hunter's online store. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. So I'm once again here with Saka. So today we are once again here at Haruna. This is actually part two of our initial D adventure because earlier today we actually delivered tofu all the way to that orange building over there. The tofu is actually still in the car, so we're borrowing one of the cars from these garage. And today we have delivered the tofu and now we are going to be going to Haruna Jinja to pick up a couple charms. And the reason we're going to pick up the charms is for good luck and Prosperity in health, business, and uh, relationships, and love, and everything like that. literally means like it's like a protection, like a protection charm. I actually have an omamori in the Forester. Anyone for the S1000 as well? え、こんにゃんこ絶対なんか絶対いいとこのにゃんこ。こんにちは。おはようございます。てか誰かのペットですか。あ、だって首やってるもん。そう。でも朝の散歩。朝の散歩ですね。てか、どんな思いですか私、
ばあちゃん、これお茶ですか It's like a Japanese mushroom tea. Interesting. Oh, it tastes like a soup. これおいしい。おいしいね。うん、おいしい。Let's take a look over here, what we have over here. So we have a couple of. A bunch of Initial D themed memorabilia. I have a little RC car, Initial D <laughs> cookies. So these are quite popular. These are easy to bring back home. Super light. You, you can even see the, the way that the color from the paper has faded.、It、means it's been here for a very long time. It's weirdly cool to see the juxtaposition of Initial D with traditional Japanese products and local specialties, such as these thick udon noodles and other products like miso, sake, and more. Despite Initial D's influence, it's clear that this place hasn't changed much throughout the years. Alright, here we go. So we got some ice cream courtesy of our managers. So let's, let's see what it tastes like. Oh, milk, Naji. Delicious. Delicious, yeah. Go to Britain. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Delicious. Asakara ice tablet wa saiko. Saiko. Ice ka, kuruma ka to shino ka ski. Kuruma. Duchi. Ice ka na. Mini san ni, ni ka, ni hono o susume na tabumono. Duchi te kuzai. Mono susume na tabumono wa, o n i g i r i タラのおにぎり。FT のりながらおにぎりを食べるのは青ですね。<笑>それはロータリーだからでしょ。<笑><笑>おにぎりエンジンだからでしょ。So we're gonna finish this off. We're gonna head over to the shrine because it opens at about 8:30 and it's gonna take us about half an hour to get there. So let's head over there and get our omamoris. Harana Shrine is just 15 minutes away down one of the other toge that leads to the lake from the other side of the mountain. It's a toge where a lot of car enthusiasts go driving at night. Of Initial D, there's almost nothing cooler than driving in 86 on Gunas Mountain Roads. Growing up, I would drive some of these very same roads at the arcade like in Initial D Stage 3. And what's remarkable is how the game sort of gave me a kind of memory of the course before I had ever even driven there. It's like a weird combination of nostalgia and deja vu that's quite hard to explain, but I think a lot of people would understand if they ever have the chance to drive here. It's definitely a bucket list experience for car enthusiasts.
right, so we had to stop filming with this because this little guy died. But thank you. Let's go some of this. Let's go some of this. So we're now here at the shrine. Let's go get some omikujis and get that good luck. All right, so we're gonna make our way up there. It, I, it really looks like it's gonna rain in the next hour or so. So we gotta be fast, get in and out. And uh, I think the place is barely gonna be open as soon as we get there. And here we are at Harunai Jinja. Oh, uh, yeah, it's beautiful. Haruna Shrine has long been one of my favorite places in Japan. People come here from all around the world to pray for peace bountiful harvest and fertility, prosperity in business, and happiness in marriage. It's long been considered a sort of metaphysical power spot. <laughs> because of its significance, Haruna Jinja is a great destination for spiritual seekers and those looking to see different periods of Japanese history intertwined in a single location. Jinja? ギガさん見て。そう、もうこれもう Maybe it's just me, but passing through the forest, past the pagoda, and across red bridges feels like I'm traversing into another world, like that of the Studio Ghibli film Princess Mononoke. There's an almost mystical etherealness to this place, and one gets the sense that it's truly the dwelling place of forest gods. Simply being here fills your spirit with this kind of energy and vitality. Alright, gonna get some good luck. Touch the tummy. Rub the tummy. Oh. Ah, it's so. While on the surface, this channel is mostly about cars, I hope through this video you can get a glimpse of why I've continued to stay in Japan for more than a decade. I fell in love with the depth and beauty of the culture, which spans thousands of years. And even after all my time here, and everything I've experienced, I feel like I've only barely scratched the surface. It's good. That's good. Feels good. Feels good. Oh, wow. Is that a forest forest gods? Forest gods. Forest gods. Forest Forest water. This feels like a scene from Spirit of the Way. So we're gonna keep going and we're gonna... <laughs> oh. 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 So basically it's a place to cleanse your hands before you go into the shrine proper. So... Wash your hands and your mouth. Like, kuchi mo? Hello. Kuchi mo naka kuchi to kote nurasu dake. So you don't drink it, but you should wash your hands and your mouth. Ah, I'm a yatto suita. Suita. So it looks like. A lot of the shrine is still under renovations, you can see over here. But fortunately, the store where we can buy the charms is, is still open for the public. Konnichiwa. I am gonna go for safe driving. So let's see which one is recommended. えっと、安全運転のおすすめなの。あの、いっぱいあるよ、ここに。ほら。これ良かわいい。ああ。ね、ほら。ま、これペタッと貼るやつだ。ああ、でもこれちょっとでかくない? え、可愛くない? <笑
and then we took a short break to take in the beautiful surroundings. Hey guys, all right, we're just taking a quick little break and in this part of the video, I wanna to talk to you guys about language learning because if you've noticed this entire video, I've basically been speaking Japanese, which to me is pretty incredible because when I came to Japan, I couldn't speak any Japanese at all. And a lot of you guys have been asking me, well, Albo, how do you learn? Well, the simple answer is I studied. So I know a lot of you guys already are really into things like Japanese culture and anime, and that's great. But if you don't actually spend some time and effort to actually try to study vocabulary and grammar, it's hard to make a lot of real progress. And so when you come here to Japan, it can be very frustrating to deal with social situations where you wish you knew a few words. I think one of the most important things for language learning is to find a method that works for you. It's, it's not a chore, it's fun, but it's also something that you can build upon. The sponsor for this video is actually a company called Rosetta Stone, and a lot of you guys have probably heard of this company. They've been around for 25 years, so they reached out to me and they asked me to take a look at their new app. So I took a look at it, and it is awesome. I've been using it for the past several weeks, not just to learn Japanese, but I've tried to see how I would learn French, and the way that they teach the language is basically through association, where you hear this thing and you hear this thing, and you're kind of able to infer the meaning of different words and grammar structures and verbs. And I think it's a really cool method and makes it not only fun, but learning it this way is sticky. So one of the issues that I would always encounter is that when I study from a textbook, I can understand what I'm reading, but it's very difficult to get it to stick in my memory. And the reason is because you pretty much have to use it several times for it to kind of become stuck in your brain. The cool thing about Rosetta Stone's method is it not only gives you input, but it gives you a chance to say the words, it gives you a chance for output. That makes the, the thing that you're learning sticky in your mind. And it makes it fun and easy to learn. So it's a method that can work for people who are not book smart and don't like studying from a textbook. If you go to a school, it could spend maybe five, 10 grand on just a semester. But this app for a lifetime of access costs 179 bucks. And they actually brought the price down from like 250. And so I think it's a great deal because it gives you access to not just Japanese, but all the languages in their catalog. It's a very powerful way to learn a language and it gives you a good foundation for taking it to the next level in the future. So I recommend you checking them out. It's been a lot of fun using this app and I wish I had this app when I was learning Japanese so many years ago. So I'm gonna head back to the rest of the group and we're gonna continue our adventure for today. Trust me guys, it's a lot of fun to learn a new language and there's nothing more satisfying than being able to speak Japanese here in Japan. So, yeah, so Wow, so we have finally arrived here at the shrine proper. And what we're gonna do here is, oh, yeah, I'll ask Sayaka to explain. So we are going to be throwing these coins and this is a 5 yen coin. So you can see there's a hole in the middle here and this is lucky for life. So we're going to toss it in there and Saika is going to teach us the proper way to show our respect for the shrine. Okay. Hope I don't mess this up. I always mess this kind of thing up and I get confused. Like, <laughs> so I want to show you guys the charm that I got. I'm, I got this one. It's actually the exact same one that I have in the Forester right now, but you have to get a new one every year. So I'm replacing this one. This is for safe driving. And the other one is also for safe driving for the S2000. You can see I matched the colors. The I got nothing in That is safe driving, right? Yes. And this one? 
。要勝つ勝つための守り。うん。うんうんうん。ビクトリー。ビクトリー。ビクトリー。For me, one more. But it's probably a two. Fighting. <laughs> This is to protect love. Love. I got the bag. The boy got the bag. そんなに恋探してるの？あれこれもう結婚するのに。そうもう持ってるからこれ大丈夫？いいと思うよ。はい、もう声持っても、うん、もっともっと。もわもわラブ。わかんない。大丈夫かな。<笑>大丈夫。必要？ん？大丈夫大丈夫大丈夫大丈夫大丈夫大丈夫大丈夫。<笑>なんかいや必要だけど大丈夫。え、じゃ。だってあのあみあらみんなから愛もらってるから。え、本当？<笑>いいよ。<笑>もらった。<笑>そりゃねだってね再来週結婚する人はいらないよね。うん確かに確かに。なんか多分ほとんどの意味なんか分からなくて、うんうん、多分あのなんなんていうなんかあ必要かなと思ってあなるほど必要じゃないでしょ。あじゃあそうだねこれでアルブからいい、うん、あの運をもらって出会いの運を、うん、うんうんうん頑張ってうん分かったよしありがとう。<笑>えー、ちょもうラッキーだね。ラッキーだね。あでもまだもらってないでしょおみくじ。Okay, let's do it. Alright, so now, now we are getting some omikujis. Let's do it. 微妙。微妙。この歌のように情熱の愛は身も心も一つに燃え上がって輝かしい未来が展開しようとしています。展開しようとしている？しかし十分に将来に向けて焦ることなく進んでいきましょう。愛が実ります。あ、焦らず進めということですね。なるほど。待ち合わせは必ず来るから安心してお待ちお待,お待ちなさい。楽しいことがありますだって<笑>日常生活にもう少しけじめがあればいい結果が出るえでも結婚が神に願えば年内に相手が見つかるって書いたんですけどよかった本当ていいのかな<笑>ありがとうございますこういう感じよかったなんか,なか書いてあるなんかドリフト派、うん、クリップ派とか書いてないね<笑><笑>えっとねえー、ドリフトは心が弾むって書いてあります。そ,うか、うん、いやそれは<笑>運命の条件でしょそうそうそう。さやかな条件もある。さやかな条件。的にさやかな条件、運転がうまかったらオッケー。<笑><笑>それだけで。必ず来る。必ず来る。頑張ってください。ありがとうございます。<笑> If you don't like the fortune that you received, you can actually tie it here, and you'll be able to leave the bad luck that you don't want at the shrine. Yeah, just like a. So, you don't go like that? Ah, so you don't go like that. Oh no, I think I lost it. Oh no. なくなった本当に言ってる So, I'm gonna hold the camera and actually Anthony is now gonna do his fortune because I lost mine. <laughs> Put it in your pocket. Oh, it's good. 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 恋愛、愛を受けるには時かかる。時間がかかる。え、どうミス。え、これなんて読むの？ね、なんて読むのこれ。So for all you guys who are studying Japanese right now, even Japanese people have problem with kanji. It's okay. Okay. このミクジはなんか内容あんま良くない。So right now, I am folding up my fortune and putting it in this box because it tells me to. <laughs> yep. And also,、um, apparently, a lot of the stuff, probably 90% of the stuff, <laughs> is not too good. <laughs> you don't really want it. So, so we're leaving it behind here. Yes. And you can leave it here, and your bad luck will be taken by the shrine. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 
お納めください。ああ、ナイス。ハッピーです。イエーイ。Okay, wow. So that was definitely, definitely an experience. It's very relaxing, and you can really feel the power that's emanating from this place. なんか、やっぱここパワースパートじゃないですか。すごい。自然の力がすごかった。あの自然の生命力、すごい入った。うん。あとはなんか先ほどあのなんで日本に来たと言われたんですけど、はいはいはいうん、じゃないですか。うんうんうん、でなんかこういう伝統的な場所、うんうん、すごく好きで、はいはいはいはい、あとなんか直接に見たいから、うんうん、なんかこういうところ来るとき、うんうん、あ来るとき、うんうん、あ本当に日本来てよかったと思う。あじゃあアルムから見た日本っていうのはやっぱりその伝統的なものが強いイメージなの。うんなんか。強いイメージというか、なんか日本人に対してこういう伝統的な場所がすごく大事にしてくれる。うんうん、ああ、なるほど。それは素晴らしいと思う。日本国民がね。そうそうそうああ、なるほど、そうだね。確かに。だから,だから本当に当たり前のように神社とか来たりするから、うん、やっぱりね、あのもうそれで生まれ育ってるからね、なかなかやっぱり気づかなかった。うん、なんかそれがあ日本独特のものなんだなっていうのに、やっぱりそうやってまアルモとか他の国、もう知ってる人からやっぱ聞くと、うん、ええー、と思って、うん。でも日本っていい国ですよね。本当ねそうですね。うん、大好き私も。なんか神社とグリフトも両方あるから。うん、そう。あと車もね、日本車も最高だし。<笑>あと日本の食べ物もある。そう、アイラブジャパン。We love Japan. <笑> so this is gonna be the end of this video. We're gonna be heading back to these garage. We're gonna check out the stuff they have at these garage. And、uh, then after that, we're gonna be heading to Usui Toge to check out the Sil 80. So that's in the next couple videos. Hope you enjoyed this video and this little mini series. And、uh, make sure to check out Saika and support her journey as she becomes a pro grifter. Actually, she's already a pro grifter.、Um, it's pretty amazing. And just keep watching the rest of these videos. And thanks again for watching. And we're gonna head back to this garage and、uh, see you guys in the next video. Ah, so, see you in Mario. Bye! See you guys later. Bye! Thank you so much for watching this episode all the way to the end. Comment the secret word banana if you did. If you'd like to see more content about my car life in Japan, make sure to follow me on Instagram where I post daily. You'll see new stuff much sooner than it appears here on YouTube. And while you're still here, why don't you go ahead and click on this recommended video and continue the adventure? See you in the next video.